The traditional ruler of the community and some government functionaries are on hand to receive Governor Willie Obiano. Uh, a 1.9 kilometer road where hearth moving machines are still working makes access to the farm easy. At the farm, 800 out of 3,000 hectares have already been planted and the man at the Elm of Affairs expects to harvest 5,000 metric tons by October. This farm is developed with modern uh, drainage system, modern irrigation technology, okay, and uh, GPS land leveling has been done. The type of farms which you used to see in European countries or America, America that's the type of farm we are developing in this. The governor, who is impressed with the progress, promises to get the road completed before the rains make the farm inaccessible. They've only planted in a quarter of their land here. So, and there, if you look around, you see a lot of uh, clearing work still going on and planting activities still going on. So far, I'm impressed by what I'm seeing. And uh, he's saying that if I, if I look in here again um, in two weeks' time, there will be a lot of wind. <laughs> The next port of call is the Stein Mills, where the governor is enthusiastically welcomed. The plant, which has been reinvigorated with a loan from the Anambra Small Business Agency, currently mills almost 9,000 bags of rice per day. In the factory that we see here today, has a capacity to do about 440 metric tons in full capacity. And that can do about 8,800 bags of rice a day. Just like see, what it means is that this is the biggest million uh, rice producing factory that we have in the whole of West Africa. They are only currently about 50% capacity, so there's a lot of room for them to, uh, to add on. You know, but I'm happy that almost 100% uh, of the rice they are milling here is coming from the produce of Adapra State. With the output of the farm and the mills looking so promising, the governor is convinced that Anambra State is well on its way to rice sufficiency.